What's going on everyone, Miguel here at Retro Basement, and I want to talk to you today about how I got into Funko Pops around, what was it, 2015 when I went to New York Comic Con. I went to New York Comic Con, uh, actually I'm looking at the Funko Pop, that's why I'm looking down, but I went to New York Comic Con, I got to a booth where you pay like, I think, five or ten bucks to spin the wheel. These are laid out all through, generally, uh, New York Comic Con, I don't know about the one in, um, LA but it's all through New York Comic Con so to make a long story short I paid the five or ten dollars to spend the wheel um, I landed on an option which was for a Funko Pop and other people were standing around me like a crowd of people or something like that and I had a couple of options I think two or three options for different Funko Pops and I think it might have been Wolverine Deadpool and something else don't quote me on that but I definitely know it was Deadpool because I have the pop sitting right here. But, um, so I chose Deadpool because people were like chanting out Deadpool, Deadpool. And it probably was because the movie was coming out <laughs> the following year. Deadpool, the first movie, not the second, um, to be specific. And that came out, I think, in 2016, the Deadpool movie. So I got the pop in 2015. And I still wasn't very interested in Funko Pops. I just thought they were weird little pieces of plastic. But it was cool that I got this. Because... I've been a fan of Deadpool, even though I never read the comics when I was a kid. I was more of a Spider-Man guy. Um, I always read those comics when I was a kid. and So, um, never had the opportunity to read Deadpool comics. Not because I didn't think Deadpool's comics were good. It's, I don't think I knew about Deadpool at the time, to be honest. Um, I was more of an X-Men and a Spider-Man guy. Probably more of an X-Men guy than Spider-Man guy because... The story of Magneto and Professor Charles Xavier reminds me a little bit of like Good vs. Evil or Malcolm X vs. Martin Luther King, kind of similar to the Black Panther movie thing too, where it's almost like Malcolm X vs. Martin Luther King in regards to right and wrong. You know, who's right and wrong? Is there no right answer to who's right and wrong? But I'm um, getting a little philosophical over here. <laughs> and I know that's not why you click the video. So to make a long story short, I still didn't care about Funko Pops after I got this figure. It wasn't until all the way in 20... What, what's the year now? 2018? Going to 2019. So 2017, late 2017, when I got my itch to start collecting these things. And I started collecting like crazy. Um, um, significant Other was getting Pops for me. Um, and I was buying them at crazy amounts because it was in this nostalgia factor. I always thought they were weird. But one day, I remember this vividly, but I, this is probably not this is my second run of with Pops when I bought them. But I remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 8-bit things were on the Funko site. And I was like, these look kind of cool. I don't like 8-bit Pops that much, but they were Ninja Turtles. So I was like, let me buy them. Um, I wasn't thinking about the monetary value. They still haven't gone up. And I think they're still listed on the Funko site to this day where people can still buy them. But I was like, let me buy those. I like Ninja Turtles. Then um, I started collecting more and more. I got into the exclusive Hot Topic ones, the FYE, the uh, Fugitive Toys, the Entertainment Earth, the uh, GameStop, and who, who else am I missing in regards that has um, Funko Pops? I'm thinking right now M3 Toys, which I buy a lot of mystery boxes from them. Um, I'm trying to work out something with them and some of my pops got lost in mail or either somebody stole them because I can't find them. One was a Game of Thrones pop and the other ones were Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. They still haven't got to me. Got back to me for these pops and I spent a lot of money with M3 Toys. So if you're watching this video on M3 Toys, get in contact with me because I really don't have those pops. And I'm not being as honest about that. I spent hundreds upon hundreds of dollars with you guys on mystery boxes and regular pops and free toys get at me but yeah I still wasn't interested in these things all the way until a couple of years later or yeah a couple of years later or maybe even a few years later considering no a couple of years later <laughs> doing <laughs> being bad with the math over here even though I like mathematics but um more stats than anything else but yeah it took me a while and I, <laughs> you know the funny thing this box is kind of beat up and that's back then when I didn't care because it has a lot of dust it's been sitting in the background over there um, not over, is it over there? Yeah, am I pointing to the right place? Yeah, I'm pointing to the right place where the Fitbit box is. It sits back there behind there. I still haven't moved and put a pop tech on it. Even though this is my first pop ever, it has a lot of dust. It's some um, damages right here on the side. Nothing too crazy if it ever goes of any value, but 
it's not mint it's more like in probably good condition yeah good because there's some right here too i don't know what happened to this box may have been made during the time because i didn't really care about these things i think it might have dropped on the floor once or twice by accident but um this still hasn't gone up in value yet but watch once i conclude this video it's probably gonna go up in value i'm just joking it probably won't but um yeah i mean significant other was buying me pops um the nostalgia factor factor hit me and you know i didn't care about these things and now i'm like probably have about 300 and something now if not more um I'm slowing down now, though. But I saw um, some Full Metal Alchemist pops that I want. One of the greatest animes of all time, by the way. Um, I want one in GameStop. I want. I got the, uh, the F, not the FRE. The uh, what's that company that I order from all the time? Uh, Hot Topic. Hot Topic. I got their Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I think it's Alfonso, Alfonso or whatever. Don't remember the name. It's been a while since I watched Full Metal Alchemist. I also want the other guy that they have at. Um, GameStop, but I found him, but his boxes were damaged. Um, same thing with the Dragon Ball Z ones. Those went fast, man, because those probably going up in value already. The Super Saiyan 3 and the Super Saiyan 2. Um, the Gohan and the, uh, I think, uh, Goku Super Saiyan 3. GameStop exclusive. Came out not too long ago. I should have pre-ordered them. That would have probably guaranteed them for me, maybe. But um, anyway, to make a long story short, this is my first pop um, that I've ever had. Then I got into the Ninja Turtles, and I got into Full Metal Alchemist, and I got into Hot Topic Girl, and then I got into other anime pops, and I got into movie pops. But some of my favorite ones are the Dragon Ball ones, even though I don't have many Dragon Ball ones. But I got most of my Dragon Ball pops I got from M3 from a mystery box. And then I, my favorite character from Dragon Ball is probably Trunks, followed by Vegeta, because who doesn't like a time traveling badass? But anyway, guys, I'm rambling. This is my first pop. Didn't care about him until 2017. Um, it's kind of funny that nostalgia vibe hit me. Um, I got too many and I need to slow down because <laughs> New York apartments don't have very much room. There's a, quite a few that I want that, um, have kind of been impossible to get, unfortunately, but, um, it is what it is. I'm not mad about it. It's just, uh, scalpers, man, scalpers, but people, they can do whatever they want to with their money. I'm not you know i mean they paid for it so if they want to scalp they can scalp but it kind of sucks for us collectors um those dragon ball pops went fast if i was in i might do a video and let me know how you guys like this kind of rambling series that i'm doing and i'm gonna cut down on the rambling i'm just trying to perfect everything but i want to talk about how i got into funko pop collecting um i really want any funko pops from anybody no i never want any funko pops from anybody not yet at least i've won other things online but no funko pops so far um eventually i try to show you my my collection but man i don't have the uh i don't have the proper shelf for it right now and maybe i try to get a shelf um for it but right now there's sitting i need more funko pop protectors too man i got way too many pops and not enough funko pop protectors they're too pricey for one thing to get up there after a while especially after you get so many even the ones that are just plastic you know I don't get the hard ones because those are way too expensive. Um, generally, I get them on eBay or Amazon. Lately, eBay. But, um, yeah, that's how I got into Funko Pop collecting. I'm trying to think of it for anything else that I left out. But, yeah, it was a spin the wheel kind of thing. And it didn't, Funko Pop still didn't interest me after that. Um, it took, like, Ninja Turtles and some other nostalgic um, pops to really get me into them. Uh, some of my favorite pops are from the... Uh, the Marvel line, um, such as Spider-Man and Black Panther and things like that. Um, and I don't have any X-Men one. Do I have an X-Men? If I do, I probably only have one. Oh, I have Logan from Hot Topic. I just got that one. It's probably one of my first X-Men one. ones. Um, or one. Hmm. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you like this rambling series that I'm doing. Like I said, I'm trying to perfect things. This is my first time doing it. I'm going to bring in guests and other things because I want them to talk about how they got into Funko Pop. So look for those videos. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to let you know when I come out with new videos. And what was your first pop? Let me know in the comments section below what your first pop was. Um, I would love to hear from you. 
and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Peace and adios.